head was just so oddly shaped. It kind of reminded me of the cone heads. You remember from back in the day on SNL? <laughs> Hi everybody, this is Audrey, also known as Noble Strength, and welcome back to my channel. And today guys, I am switching things up on my channel. Typically you will find me sharing thrift hauls and me doing a review of a handbag that I purchased. But today I'm actually doing a video about what I do not spend my money on. So just a little something different that I thought I would do on my channel since I'm doing so many things about consumerism. You know, social media is really centered around consumerism and influencing people to buy. I'm actually a person who likes to encourage people to be good stewards of their finances and their money and find ways that they can save. I believe that you can have things that you truly love and enjoy without you know, spending a lot of money. So today I'm actually gonna share what I don't spend my money on and what I rarely spend my money on. So let's jump right into this list. And of course, you know I wanna hear from you below. Comment on the things that you don't spend money on. Let's just create a dialogue around this, why don't we? So, number one, I have my list, is ice cream. I do not spend money on ice cream. I am not an ice cream person. Not to say I have never eaten ice cream. As a child, yes, I would eat ice cream, but I found that as I've gotten older, maybe starting around in my 20s or so, that it just didn't sit right with me. And maybe I had these issues all along, but just ignored them because I liked the flavor so much. But I did used to eat ice cream as a young person, but once I got into adulthood, it just really kind of made my stomach feel like it was in knots, my intestines. It was just always feel like really bound up when I ate ice cream. And I know there are alternatives for people who might be lactose intolerant, but I just chose to just eliminate it altogether. So I don't spend money on ice cream. Number two, I do not spend money on sodas. This also was not always the case. I used to drink Dr. Pepper religiously as a young person, but I had an episode where I was in so much pain. I think I had done so much damage to my kidneys that it scared me and I remember being on a trip in New York away from mom not having her there telling me I need to drink water I probably just consumed too much sodas on the trip and not enough water and one of the chaperones was like you know I noticed you haven't been drinking a lot of water that's probably why you're in pain now this pain was excruciating to the point where it kind of scared me like I almost like couldn't walk the pain was so bad but she was like, drink some water. And when I did that, within like 15 to 20 minutes, the pain was gone. And as a young person, that impacted me so greatly. So I reduced the amount of sodas that I drank significantly after that. And then when my father passed away in 99, and I was 28 at the time, that kind of woke me up even more because he used to drink sodas a lot. That was a wake up call for me and I was like, you know what, I'm eliminating sugar from my diet. Not like, I know we can't eliminate it completely, but a big contributor of sugar is sodas because sodas like full of sugar. So I started, I started with sodas first and just cut that out completely and it made all the difference in the world with just how I felt overall. Number three, the third thing that I do not spend money on are manicures. As you can see, my nails are short. Nothing fancy about them. As a matter of fact, I need to like clean them. But yeah, I keep them short. And a little fact about that is because I took piano lessons for five years as an adult and I was told to keep my nails short because it would make playing the piano a lot easier. And I did take lessons as a child too for about a year and a half. And because I didn't stick with it, I went back to it as an adult. And um, didn't stick with it then either, but I, I can read music a little bit. So yeah, that's why I just got in the habit of keeping them short. And plus I teach art and it's just easier to keep them short, especially when working with clay, etc. And so yeah, you don't have to worry about 
uh, any nail salons getting my money on that. I saved myself, what, hmm, manicures run about, what, $40 a manicure? So I saved myself a little money there. Another thing that I do not spend money on, number four, is coffee. So I am not a coffee drinker. I think it's an acquired taste, and I did not acquire a taste for coffee. Sorry, Starbucks, but nope. Um, if I do go to Starbucks, I'll be getting tea or maybe a small little treat every now and then like from their desserts but yeah i really don't typically go to starbucks anyway and i certainly do not drink coffee number five i do not spend money on hair weaves or wigs now this is one of those things that i cannot say i've never purchased a wig before you get my hair braided twice in my entire life and they only stayed in for like less than 24 hours the first time it was probably two hours and then i took them out the second time it was like 20 hours and then i took them out so yeah i i just it just doesn't work with me and then the wig thing i tried some wigs and with my hair being as thick as it is even when i braided it down and put the skull cap on my head was just so oddly shaped it kind of reminded me of the cone heads. You remember from back in the day on SNL? Yeah, the and my head is already big and already long, so it just really kind of distorted my head. Did not like me in wigs. So yeah, I avoid wigs and weaves at all costs now. Number six. Now we're getting into the things that I rarely spend money on now. So these are things I might spend money on every blue moon or when pigs fly, but rarely home decor i'm just not big into interior decorating get a minimal of things and keep it simple I, I don't know it's just less bothersome so i don't do a lot of spending on that um another thing that i rarely spend money on are going to the movies now there was a period in my life where that was like the weekend thing to do especially when my husband and i first started dating Movies was the typical movie and dinner thing, but I just kind of got maybe burnt out on going to the movies. I still like watching a good movie every now and then, but as far as going to the theater and um, spending money, I rarely do that anymore. And the last one that I went was kind of disappointing. I'm trying to remember. Isn't that something when a movie's not good, you just don't even really kind of remember what it was that you saw? Was it The Circle? I can't remember what's the last movie I saw. I really can't. All right, rarely, rarely spend money on makeup. So now you've seen these cases before on my channel. I also like store jewelry in here. These are like tackle box cases by Plano. But anyway, so I keep my makeup in here. Now, some of you are gonna judge me. Those of you who are truly into makeup, but don't judge me, please. I'm asking you not to because I know there's some rules to how often you should change out your makeup. But because I'm not really into makeup, I don't change it out. Like, I know you're supposed to change out your foundations and mascaras, like, what, every three months or so? Well, it's probably been, I don't know, maybe eight or nine months since I've had this and I use it in this one. It's probably been two years since I've had it, and it's so dried out to the point where I just use it for my eyebrows now because there's no more um, anything left in it. So yeah, I just use that for my eyebrows. And um, so I don't spend money on makeup, so I have one thing of mascara, one that I use as my eyebrow brush, I have some concealer, as you can see, is gone. There's no twist up. It's like even recessed and indented. So I'm now using, resorting to using a little brush to like get my uh, concealer out with. So I have one of those. I have a little brush for my powder. I have, so I have three brushes. So I like do this for my eyelids or like my concealer, if I'm just trying to get one little particular spot, I have those. I own three shades of lipstick, two are in red, one is in bronze. My other two are in my purses, but this is one that I have. I can't even tell you, is this like the, um, 
what brand is this? I can't even, it's rubbed off. That's how long I've had it. I cannot tell you what brand it is. So I have that. Carmex, got that. Eyeliner, which I've probably had forever and a day. And look how tiny this thing is. And I've had this for at least a year, probably. I have my tweezers, gotta have tweezers. And I have some powder. This is by Wet n Wild. And I only use this powder for my eyelids. This is a dark cafe. Now it's really a pressed powder, but I use it only for the eyeshadow, but I don't have any on today. Um, let's see. Oh, and I do have some um, powder that I use. Let me go get that really, really quick. I'll be right back. Okay, so I'm back. This is the one powder that I use. This is the True Match by L'Oreal. It's a mineral makeup, and I do not use the brush that comes with it. I use this brush, and I like it because you just kind of, it sprinkles down in here, and then you dip it and just kind of, so this is what I use as my powder. That's my, I guess, my foundation that I use. And then the last thing that I use is Miss Clairol, and this is a root touch-up, so I'm counting this as a type of makeup. It's a root touch up and I love this because I don't like to get my hair dyed that often. So when my roots start coming in, I use this little compact here and just kind of do my little root touch ups there. This is a really neat thing to have. So this is Clairol touch up. Very nice, it's like a dry powdery type thing. That is all of my makeup guys. And so like I say, I rarely spend money on makeup. It's just not my thing. I'm not all into that. Okay, the other thing that I rarely spend money on is fast food. Fast food is just not my thing. Um, every now and then if I eat out, it's usually at this place called Diablo's and they make everything fresh in front of you. It's like Mexican style, kind of like Chipotle's if you've ever been to Chipotle. I do like that type of food or I may go to a place that has a salad bar where you can get sandwiches and may have a salad or a soup or something like that. Only time I do uh, do fast food is if when we're traveling on a long trip and even then I try to get at least one of the healthier choices on the menu. Every now and then I might buy some fries or something like that. Oh, another thing that I rarely spend money on are like creams and gels, scented things like lotions and like stuff from Bath and Body Works. I have one thing that I typically like, guys, and that is Egyptian oil musk that I get from the flea market. I love that. Um, it's really, really awesome. It's just like a roll-on, and so that is my fragrance of choice. I can't do perfumes. A lot of them are just overbearing, and I do have allergies, so the oils really do work well with me, and I get a lot of compliments with the Egyptian oil, but those are the things that I do not spend money on or rarely spend money on. I hope you enjoyed this new a uh, little video on my channel because I'm always talking about what I do spend my money on. But let me know in the comments below what you rarely spend money on or don't spend money on. I'd love to hear from you. And as always, remember to be a good steward of all that God has given you because he truly loves us so much. And I'll see you next time. Bye.